Diagnostic pelvic laparoscopy is used to examine the internal organs of the pelvis to identify specific problems. Your doctor may recommend a diagnostic pelvic laparoscopy if you experience pelvic pain, have an irregular mass, or have trouble getting pregnant. Endometriosis, tubal pregnancy, an ovarian cyst or tumor, scarring from pelvic infections, or other conditions can cause these symptoms. With laparoscopic surgery, only tiny keyhole incisions or puncture wounds are required and recovery times are much shorter. Your procedure will begin with an intravenous line and you may be given sedatives to help you relax. A pelvic laparoscopy is performed under general anesthesia, which will put you to sleep during the procedure. A breathing tube will be temporarily inserted through your mouth and into your throat to help you breathe during the operation. Your bladder will also receive a catheter so that your urine can be drained. An uncomplicated diagnostic laparoscopy could be completed in 30 to 60 minutes. Your surgeon will gain access to the interior of your pelvis by using a sharp instrument called a trocar to make a small half-inch opening or port just below your navel or umbilicus. Your abdomen will then be inflated with carbon dioxide gas pumped through this umbilical port so that its contents can be seen more clearly. Now, the laparoscope will be inserted through the umbilical port by your surgeon. In the operating room, images from the laparoscope camera will be displayed on a monitor. Your surgeon will carefully examine the tissues and organs in your pelvis to seek for any indications of a disease that could account for your symptoms. The doctor might designate additional entry points for instruments. These extra tools are used for operations like scar tissue removal, taking biopsies, or draining abnormal fluid, or for shifting organs out of the way for better viewing. A specific gas valve is left in place after removal of the laparoscope and other surgical tools to allow the entire amount of carbon dioxide to escape from the abdomen. The keyhole incisions are now closed with stitches or staples and then bandaged. Your breathing tube will be removed at the end of your procedure and you will be observed in the recovery area. Soon after, your catheter will also be removed and you'll be given painkillers if necessary. When you are able to consume liquids, your IV will be taken out. Most of the time, patients are discharged a couple of hours after completing the procedure. For other questions, please consult your doctor.